Hey everybody, it's BZ here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, I'm just doing what I forgot to do on this thing before. That's uh, take the atmospheric thrusters off. Uh, I was thinking about maybe t cutting those down, but I think I want to keep the forward and, forward and backwards uh, thrusters there. Just for faster acceleration, faster braking, uh, especially when it gets uh, extra load. But I was thinking about taking these ones off. I don't know if I want to or not. Uh, they make it come in handy. Uh, a couple of things. One one thing was about the whole respawn thing. Uh, the respawn trick with the survival kit does work. It also works with the the medical med the medical bay medical room, whatever the big terminal thing you get to change your outfit in. Me, however, I am using the med medieval suit. I haven't found anything good yet. I've been getting like graffiti and rainbow and. Uh, I had some metallic, I got some metallic stuff too, but I haven't done too much about that. But anyways, but yeah, this thing does work. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Go in here, you can actually name it. This is named Moonbase. Uh, the reason why it wasn't working before is auto respawn was enabled. And I think, uh, I can't remember who it was, but I thank you for pointing that out. Uh, apparently, you're supposed to be able to change it in the world settings when you go to load up, load up your game. And it wasn't actually there, but uh, apparently what it is is when you create a new game, it's there. But as soon as you cr you've created that new game for the first time, uh, that setting is actually not there. So you actually have to go into the sandbox.sbc file in your save folder and change it in there. Uh, it's, uh, if you want to do it yourself, change it yourself, it's look up enable auto respawn and set that from true to false. And then what happens, uh, I'm actually going to... Clear some space here. I'll show you what's going to happen here. I don't want to keep these here just in case. All right, this is going to be gruesome, but I'm going to do this. At least there's no blood splatter across the screen. You know, somewhere like that. So then you get here. So you get different startings you can get. But there's a survival kit that's actually at the lab. There's the moon base, which I or the Earth base station. Uh, named moon teleporter and uh, there is the moon and that is where we are so let's go back to the moon and here we are now my body is uh, over there it'll despawn uh then what was the other one i was gonna talk about oh yeah another one too uh she went to the effort of going to eat, trying to get silver and all that stuff and i totally forgot there was actually ores in the ground no oh, i don't have any tools on me uh but yes there are actually ores i totally forgot about i've been going around uh you can see it over there's silicone and i got iron somewhere and i've been finding everything including platinum the only thing i haven't found of course is going to be uranium and that's going to be be up there now the only reason why i really need the uranium is for one I, you know I, anybody who's been with the channel know, knows that I, i'm going to eventually get things moving and on their own that can't be on a, a sustained power source or uh, not a sustained power source but something some big massive power source to 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 generate power like solar farms like today's building that's why you're here uh so that's why I like to have the reactor because then I can have a compact power source that can power many, 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 many things. And I'm not joking about that when I get to that point. Uh, if anybody's been uh, played, watch my Planet Nomads videos, you know what I mean about hover pads. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to go ahead and get my tools here, actually. Yeah, I'll leave those. Those are old tools. Uh, but I have been busy. Uh, you can see this is full. Uh, you don't see on the back here. Oh, yes, I did get the refinery up because I had to go get a bunch of iron a couple of times because this thing is jam-packed. I currently have enough to make. Uh, it was suggested, or one of the suggestions about the whole uh, the moon project, and it's still up for grabs. Nobody's come even close to it. Uh, someone did have an idea, like, part of their idea is part of this idea but it's not even close to being the feature of it i will say that it's going to be a closed off area i don't know if it's going to be dome or uh, octagonal or however it's going to work out but it is going to be a closed off area i'm going to try to pressurize it if i can and see how that works uh today's project too and i'm not going to get into details into it until we get into it but it's going to be 
uh, I don't know, alternative power, uh, alternative jump drive power source to uranium. That's an idea. I think it's going to work, and it should be feasible, especially with the the idea I have planned. But anyways, yeah, one of the ideas was uh, that I was going to. Oh, no, it wasn't for that. It was about the solar panels. Well, getting like a sixty-four panels up, and I originally my idea was doing thirty-two, and I did the math for thirty for sixty-four of them. And I'm thinking I'm only they're only generating about one hundred twenty-five kilowatts right now. Yes, I know I'm all over the place today. Uh, where are they? All right, solar panels, one hundred forty-five kilowatts, about one hundred fifty max. So I did the math. That's about nine megawatts. Well. That's okay power, so I, I'm thinking we're going to go up to 64, or not 64, 128, 128 solar panels. I am planning on having 32 batteries up there, it's going to be part of, oh jeez, of the, the cross members of the solar panels, like how this is here. Uh, you'll get the idea, you'll see the build as it goes along, uh, one of the things I do want to do is, while well, I was cleaning this thing up, is I want to put some, Put a storage container on here. I'm gonna dump everything I have in those containers that I need for this project on here. We're gonna go that way over there. And the reason why I'm put what I want to do with this thing is it's gonna be parked on the ground. I still have the landing gear on it, and I'm gonna Oh yeah, I guess I could. I'm gonna put uh, just put conveyors going right up to the top as high as I need to build and put a container on it so I don't have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth at least it's right here it's not the solar cells I'm worried about it's those, <laughs> it's those uh, power cells I'm like what's the weight on 2000 of these volume is 682,000 liters that's 20 inventories of space so yeah anyways uh let me get this all loaded up and i'll bring you back when it's time to head off to the new location okay i'm just about ready to load this thing up i thought i'd bring you back just in case something bad happens because you never know with me right what's the capacity on this one no, it's the same as the small on the grid all right that's fine that's perfect actually that's what we need okay let's zoom in a little, a little bit and this thing's definitely got some pep. I'll wait till I throw up a couple hundred, couple hundred tons into it and see how it moves. I know I can uh, adjust the throttle a little bit. I'm sure, I could easily be able to take a couple of items off, or at least turn two of them off. Okay, so now I just got to transfer everything over. I actually got to get other stuff from the other container too. So uh, this will take a minute here I just gotta find out where I'm starting from okay it's gonna be this one and is it not going to that top container hmm uh, let me figure this out I see the problem I didn't realize this actually had small conveyor ports on it. Alright, let's try this again. So it was a six. Yes, it was. Alright. That should solve the problem right there. Yeah, completely forgot about that. So now if I go in here, I should be able to go into this container and drag it all up here instead of making 20 trips. Or 40 trips even. So it's so much easier, except for the other container. I'm going to have to do that manually. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, here we are. I picked up, pick, uh, I picked a somewhat flattish area. Not the worst, not the best, but it is the moon after all. Uh, I have chosen, uh, why am I not zooming in? There we go. Uh, I have chosen an area that would be a the best, most accessible to the sun, the sun, and b uh, I want to use this as sort of like a, a plant for a power grid for this idea and for other things that are going around around here. Now I want to set up a very large solar array and I want to keep it. I know I can get automated moving and stuff like that, but 
why do that we can have fun building something big and probably highly unnecessary but i'm sure i'll find a way to use it and i always do so i not only want to try to follow the path of the sun and i've been sort of following it it's about about here now the only thing i'm wondering about though is the angle if i, if I go over here and i'm just a smart ass you know i think i almost want to have it tilted back a little bit whether or not that's gonna actually yeah you know what let's let's not get too complicated with this we'll save that for future builds this is just an excessive amount of power generation yeah this should be a good enough angle so what i'm gonna do is i want to build the tower uh okay, okay it's behind me let's do it over here uh, we've got some more room to work around with, so I'm going to do that, and it's going to be four rows of solar panels at 32, and spaced 16 on either side. And what I was, originally I was planning on having batteries in between the solar panels, but I, I only had enough for 32 batteries, so the batteries are going to be basically this. Uh, I do want to go up probably about 20 blocks, and I do want to make this a color that I'll be able to see from a mile away, because I do not want to fly into this thing. And I'm just saying this because I know I will. Bright red or bright orange? Uh, red probably be more visible on the on the Let's do it orange then. Okay, I'll make you orange. Okay, and then one, three, four, five, six. Okay, well let me get the batteries in and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm just on my way back way to pick up the last the the, the power cells. So I was about three hundred short, go figure. But that's Fine, I love the gravity on this planet. It's so fun. Uh, I can't wait to see what... I think Europa has a lighter gravity as well. Not too sure, but... I turned the head off because I'm pretty sure... You can almost see it from here. There it is. <laughs> it's, it's not as big as I thought it was originally when I was... Starting to put the batteries on. I was thinking about... Thinking, well, maybe... Maybe it's... Maybe it'll come down a few blocks, but I was thinking about it. Maybe it's not even tall enough. Uh, we do have to add more so more batteries to this eventually. This is just a starter. Like I said, there's going to be many, many... Well, not many, many uses, but there's going to be uses for this. Alright, so that is that. So now I want to first figure out how wide the solar panels are. I think they're 2 by 3 So we'll go like that, and let's see here. Is it a 4? Uh, hang on, I gotta, I gotta go down a little bit so I can actually count better. I think it is four. Okay, it is four. Two by four then. Alright, that's all I need to know. Because now, I go to here, and I hope we have plates on me. Yes, I do. And so I go one, two, three, four. That's gonna be the first rib, or brace, or whatever. And we're going to go down to 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Three. Sorry, I always double count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, yeah, 8. So that's going to be on either side. It's going to be 16 solar panels on each row. So 16, 16, 16, 16, 16 times 2 is 128. Which means it's going to be another 32 blocks on either side. So I'm going to get these in, and then uh, I'll bring you back for the solar panels. Okay, so there we go. We got, I have the, the four members out, uh, the arms. Mm. Oh, sometimes the depth of view, sometimes the depth of view kind of makes things look longer and shorter than they actually are. That one is actually wrong, but I'll figure it out when I get the solar panels in. So now, I'm going to go back down, because I was actually way up there to do that. So now for the solar panels. I have been following the, again, watching the sun. Realistically, I should have had the, this tilted back a little bit more, but it's going to kind of work out for what I plan on doing. And that is not a solar panel. That uses power, not generates it. So what I have do have to do is when I put these on, i got to make sure that they're on this side of the block and not on this side. And that's because the block will shadow part of the solar panel. So for optimum efficiency, I'm going to do it that way. And so it's going to be 
whole bunch of solar panels going across both sides. It's going to be many, many trips. Uh, I did park my uh, ship up here. Originally, I had it down there at the bottom of the batteries because I was doing back and forth of the, the power cells. But fortunately, the solar, solar cells don't use as much space, but still a lot of trips. So anyways, I do have to lighten this load a lot more. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm on the last row now. Oh, I went too fast. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard in the eyes staring at these solar panels for, I don't know, probably the last 20 minutes or so. It's not like it t it's taking me a lot, all that long to do this. I think maybe, I think I'm maybe an hour in on this build, which is, eh, it's average for something this size, and it's, believe me, it's not small. I had to run back to the, the base and print up some more solar cells because I didn't have enough. But there we go. We have it. There is the mega solar array. You might even be able to see that from Earth by the looks of it. Um, my positioning might not have been 100%. Like it's just starting to set here. I probably could have had it turned a little bit more. But that's fine because when it comes down the back side, at least this section over here does get a fair amount of power. Now, in, I'm not exactly sure how much I'm generating. Let's find out. Uh, the batteries, as far as the batteries themselves, uh, we have 32 batteries, which means we have 96 megawatt hours, which uh, if you don't know how that works out, uh, one megawatt hour it would be uh, using one megawatt for one hour. And that, that's one megawatt hour. So if we have 96, 36, 32 batteries at 93 megawatts, that's 96 megawatt hours, which means that's a fair amount of backup power. But that doesn't mean I won't have a use for it. And I do have plans for it. Like I said, I, we will be doing it eventually. Uh, yeah, so the power is dwindling because the sun is right there. But it's going to go up when it gets onto the other side. And then uh, it's hard to tell which actual side is going to be the ones getting it. But anyways, so now as far as the power grid goes, uh, let me find out where I'm positioned here. Alright, uh, okay, moon base is over there, yes. I know it gets cluttered, I could probably start turning some of these off, <laughs> like that mess over there, uh, eventually. Uh, as far as around here, like I said, there's just so many resources, I don't know if, I don't know if I can spot any right now, but you look for these brown skid marks. I call them like right there. There's one right there. Bring up the yield drill. I don't know if you can really see it. It's a slight brownish color. Almost like uh, someone's dog was here. As you can see, you got iron. There's lots of iron. Like, I mean, a lot of iron. And yeah, like I said, I feel, <laughs> feel terrible going up and trying to find silver and the whole fiasco of me going back there and flying all the way back out here with silver to make the survival kit when it was probably about 150 meters from there but anyways uh so yeah that's back there i was going to go in this way and it doesn't really matter now i do realize i i, I do realize i hit the ground too hard on a plant, plant with no gravity could have sent me into orbit yeah, there's the views right there. That's why I do stuff like this. You realize how big it is. It was a lot of work, a lot of back and forth, but it was worth it. But anyways, uh, what I'm going to be used doing is using connected grids to carry the power. I need steel plates, of course I do. They're all the way up here. Uh, connected grids to transfer power, just like I was using this little guy here to jumpstart uh, the base, wherever it is, to get production going so I can make the solar panels and the solar uh, batteries and stuff like that and it, it's sort of an idea that's going to work out with um, with the, the next project I'm going to be working on this is am I, am I out of plates already wow I brought like 5,000 of them and I'm out yeah I'm out but anyways uh, yeah I'm going to be using going to be using basically the whole shit in a grid power idea so 
comes across here anything that connected here whether it be a machine or anything like that is going to get power through those batteries through those solar panels up there uh, you can transfer power through the, the connection port ports oh i don't know what just happened there had a bit of a lag spike uh, through the connection port so they will transfer power another one that transfer power and this is where it's going to come handy with the planet being as small as it is and uh, having a fair amount of curvature like probably can't see it here but if I jet pack up you can get out of the way of solar panels before I hurt myself but even that you go up like half a kilometer and already you're starting to see the curvature so if I start building a grid out that way half a kilometer you're gonna start noticing the curvature a lot so what my plan for that is is a magical a very magical part oh that was fun Oh, well, guess what? We're back. Alright, where is my body? Over here. It's still probably still bouncing across the ground. Oh, it's in orbit. It's in orbit. Catch it. It's got all my gear on it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it bounce across the ground. I didn't do too much. Oh, there it goes. Oh, chasing my own body. <laughs> That's just too funny. Okay, stop, please. Can you stop? Uh, follow the bouncing corpse. Uh, you should be stopped pretty quick here. Now, what was I saying? I was saying... Oh, yeah. Uh, let me get my body here first. Not that I really had anything on that I cared about. Now we'll take everything. But, yeah, it is. Where is it here? So we have a couple of parts here I've been wanting to use for a very long time, but I never actually had access to them because I wasn't playing this game. And the rotors. Now we have standard rotors, which just allow things to, to move. We have advanced rotors, which allow power and objects to transfer through, through grids. Uh, actually, these allow uh, items, so I'm assuming that the rotors transfer power as well, too. Uh, it's just basically the whole connected grid issue. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the rotors to to adjust their grid. Uh, where are we here? I'm lost. Oh, my God, I'm lost on the moon. Oh, it's not that way. Come oh, on, can't miss it. Of course not. There it is. <laughs> of course you can't miss it. Look at that, even with the HUD off, you can still see it. It's like a big giant billboard. And someone was suggested that one of my that my plan for this was to put make BCP and big giant solar panels. Wow. And not exactly a lettering type block. But yeah, so that was what I was gonna be doing was using uh using the the connectors to connect different objects to the grid to keep the, the the main grid itself small so I may end up having like uh, small little ships that are just connection points that will dock to a connect a docking port and then they just park and they stay there and then they're just an extension to the line I'll, like I said I'll also be using the rotors to adjust the curves and try to whenever I need to go on like a 60 degree angle instead of a 90 degree angle and and whatnot and at the same time too it's gonna gonna serve as a possible mobile interchangeable fuel source possibly alternative to uranium I doubt it but I'll find it eventually but anyways uh, this that's gonna end it for this one uh, I got another project I'm going to work on back over at the moon base here as soon as I turn my head back on and yeah that's going to be sort of part of the next project well not next, uh, next project but it is something I plan on doing around here and uh, it's going to involve hydrogen that's all I'm going to say and, and take it from there at the same time too we got to eventually go back to the station get some more work done on that because I want to cover up that rocky area get that all pressurized and then there's a big project over there I want to work on 
that's going to involve the asteroid that we're attached to. What do we have here? Silicon, magnesium, and... Come on, show me the nickel. There's the nickel. Yes, I've been showing up in, in in groups. You get the nickel, silicon, and magnesium, and then you get the, the iron and the cobalt joining together, which is quite interesting. But anyways, that's going to be it. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>